Hey guys, it's Tate the Grape, and today I'm going to be showing you what I did on the blazer. Nothing bad, at least I don't think so. What do you see on the top of it? Yellow. That's interesting. Let's take a look at it. Walk over here. Now you know me. Every vehicle I get, I, I quote unquote ruin it. But uh, no, obviously I, I was bored and I did some spray paint. Yeah, I did get it on the outside of the tires, but I'm not too worried about it because eventually I need to get new tires anyway. These ones are got worn out spots and gouges on the side. They're just overall old and junky. The roof rack and the rims, of course. I personally think it looks pretty sporty. Um, looks cool. Especially, you know, like I said, once you get the tires either flipped or new ones, eventually new ones, of course. But yeah, no, no more, no less yellow. I think it's a perfect amount of yellow. Any more yellow would look too gawky. If it doesn't already <laughs> no but i like it and then honestly i had just the rims at first and the day later i put the roof rack on there but i'll show you closer mainly i started out wanting to do the rims because well you know one side was black one side was gold and i did not like the mismatched rims that's one thing i've always hated even as a kid i've had a hot wheel that had mismatched rims and for some reason, I always hated it. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I always disliked mismatched rims. So I just had to, I wanted to paint them one solid color. Could have gone simple, could have gone white, could have gone silver, could have gone gray, black even. For the rest, I figured that would be too much black. And I wanted to be a little, what do they call it, eccentric? I don't really know. Different, I guess is the best way to say it. But yeah, only $6 on a can of spray, spray paint, so I didn't really spend that much. And if, hey, if I ever sell it and someone wants to change it, <laughs> they can get new rims or they can just repaint it silver and the roof rack black. Of course, I did the roof rack the proper way. Proper way. I actually took it apart off. I'd imagine I just fucking spray painted it on here. That'd be awful. But I, yes, I did even get the underside too, as best as I could. Obviously, it was all the way off of the vehicle. So I was able to get underneath and all that. Able to seat it properly and screw it back on. But again, let me know what you think, because I think it looks pretty sharp. Not bad at all. Like I said, perfect amount of yellow. Any more, it would just be too much yellow and ugly. But let me know what you think, and hope you enjoyed. Now, I've obviously had a bunch of clown-esque vehicles in my lifetime. Um, the first vehicle, 95 Chevy truck, that was black, obviously. It got the green camper shell, and I put the green rims on it. Then my second vehicle is the 95 Caravan. I obviously, you know, painted the hubcaps seafoam green to match the uh, factory pinstriping on it. Then I shittily um, spray painted the tires white. Regretted that, but then I ended up doing it to the Lumina also and regretted that too. I had that blue Chevy truck that I got in Arkansas. That was, that was a piece of junk, man. That was the worst vehicle I owned. Same engine and transmission as this one, too, of course, but uh, that was an S10. I already said that. But anyway, uh, so yeah, it was, that was American-themed, American flag-themed, red rims with white stars on the blue body, and what do you know? This is now the, uh, you know, the blazer. It's got a weird paint job, but I'm not touching the Grand Marquis. That's, that, that's perfect as is. I'm not going to ruin that one.